This video is going to be about how to have the best first night with your new puppy. So I'm Mary from Growing Puppies and this here is, oh look which one are you? This is our little gray puppy. He's a little boy and when you take your little puppy home you will have your uh, your pen set up, your little puppy pen, and I've talked uh, about that in another video. So be sure to watch the video on how to set up your pen so you have a nice safe space for your little puppy to get used to the very first day. So you don't wanna have too much activity. If you have a lot of family or friends that wanna visit your puppy, probably wait three days so that your puppy will be um, more used to his environment first. You don't wanna you know, overload him with too much all at once. So he's just gonna get used to your house for the first few days. And during that first day, you'll just wanna, you know, provide his needs, stay close by him, let him get used to his new bed and his new space. I'll send you a little puppy blankie home with your puppy. This blankie will have been in the pen with the litter, so it'll have lots of the smells of the litter and has been in that room so that it smells like his environment. And then I also rub it on the mom so that there's a little bit of mommy smell on there too. And these puppies, their first sense of, of um, their first organ, I guess, the most important organ is their sense of smell. So, you know, this is, this is really comforting to them. Um, so yeah, so after, uh, when evening comes, and your puppy seems to be doing okay in the, the pen, uh, if he may be exhausted, maybe sleeping, it's a good idea if you can sort of get him to be a little more active at the end of the day rather than sitting on the couch and letting him sleep on your lap and take a nap. It'd be better for him to be playing with toys and stuff right before bedtime. And what I always do is the last thing I do before bedtime is I take the puppy out to potty or put a, the puppy on the potty tray so that he'll go potty right before bed. And then I put him in his crate and I put bring the crate up to my room and I put the crate next to my bed and then I turn out the lights and that's it. There's no big fanfare around bedtime. Um, everybody goes down, the lights go out, there's nothing more going on. So the puppy usually just goes right to sleep. Um, I bring a travel crate with me um, next to my bed and that's where I usually put the puppy or you can use a wire crate, whichever works better for you. Uh, this, is, this is this puppy's mom. This is Snowy. And Snowy's here sitting. Why is this puppy out of her pen? Yeah, hey baby. So anyway, so that's, um, I've been doing that for every puppy that I've ever raised and it's been a lot of puppies and then also sometimes I raise some of your puppies for you for a little while and that's exactly what I do. They usually wake up once in the middle of the night around three o'clock and then um, I take them, put, you can put them on their potty tray in the winter which is probably a good idea because it's very cold in the winter. Um, in the summer if you have a space that's lighted you can take them outdoors to use the potty if it's um, like a well lighted area and warm enough for the puppy. Um, but that usually only that nighttime potty only usually happens for another week or two at most. It's pretty quick before they'll start holding their bladder through the night. And you can facilitate that by removing water after 5 or 6 p.m. Um, and then, you know, yeah, pretty quickly they'll they won't have to go potty in the middle of the night anymore. So yeah, so I hope that that helps you. Uh, first of all, too, after you've gone potty, do not engage the puppy in playtime. I don't really talk to the puppy. I just let the puppy do its thing, and I just very quietly and calmly just put the puppy right back, because the puppy will be sleepy, and you really want him to stay sleepy even <laughs> when he uses the potty, so that he'll just go right back to sleep. So those are that's an important thing to keep in mind. All right. Good luck to you.